So I'll start by introducing, introducing myself. I'm Abdul Dafe. Um, I'm gonna facilitate uh, uh, this uh, cohort and uh, really ex excited about the, the, the whole thing. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm, an, I'm an economist. Uh, I sort of do some research more in uh, development economics. So I had uh, taken some um, graduate level courses in econometrics. However, uh, my econometrics is very rusty. So I thought this book would be uh, very helpful to at least uh, also familiarize myself with R. Um, I'm also new to this uh, this uh, um, R4DS community. So I'm following the, 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 the book uh, R for Data Science. Um, I'm following the eight cohort. And I and I guess some of some of you are very familiar with R, but um, I'm quite a, a beginner. Yeah, and I I think that's it. Uh, uh, basically, that's it uh, for me. Yeah, and if anyone wants to introduce themselves, they could uh, they could feel free. Sure, I'm Gus. I'm okay. I spend a lot of time in R, and I've been trying to get more involved in R for data science. So that's why I've been picking up the book clubs. And then I also like to, I really enjoy learning and I don't like school. So all the book clubs are a really great way to, to learn more yeah. things without necessarily taking a, like explicitly taking a class on it, so. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Yeah, anyone else interested? Okay, my name is Kute Kim. I'm a research faculty at the Georgia Institute of Technology. I'm a basically urban planner, so and and also a data analyst to address the, some different kind of urban issues. So I, yeah, I have been used R quite a lot, and then for a long time, about over ten years, and then yeah, I also uh, usually like to join the, this kind of a group study or some kind of a book club to learn something new. So that's why I came, I, I joined this book club and then I hope that I, uh, everyone can enjoy yeah, this course or this group study. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Kim. Oh, then you, I, I guess we'll have, I have a lot to learn from you guys, you know? <laughs> it seems like you guys are experienced uh, programmers, you know? Um, that's, Hello, that's... my my name is Mohammed, and um, no, no, for, for, for me, it's uh, I, I think basically I should have the uh, in terms of uh, background, I should have the the worst here. So I, I I basically work as a researcher, but I mostly do research in economic theory, and so I have uh, next to a zero background in, in econometrics. Yeah, that's 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 awesome. I I think that's why we are all here, uh, at least for me. Yeah. So so I I, I think we the, the 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 book would be very interesting and um, a lot of interesting stuff to 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 learn. Yeah, I think that's it. I could uh, start with uh, uh, I I prepared some some slides to um, uh, present for the introductory. Um, chapter so i'll just go ahead and and share my screen and i, and I guess maybe towards the end we could uh, also discuss how we'll go about the the the, the book club yeah so uh, i did uh, some some slides the the line objectives i i was able to outline some 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 points uh, to get uh, a basic overview of uh, the, the project i i think they mentioned that they were like uh, teaching econometrics, but uh, um, the the programming part was uh, a bit of a challenge for the students. So they decided to go. Um, they, then they were working on this project and they were doing the the, the codes in R. So I think the, the first chapter gives us an overview of what the project is all about. To appreciate the recent recent developments of R for econometric uh, analysis. Uh, so the shift uh, from costly statistical softwares like Stata, SSP to, to open source uh, softwares. Appreciate the easily reproducibility of 
uh, reports and quotes in R, and, and also towards the end, they give a quick overview of, of R. Yeah, and, and uh, if someone has any comments or you could always yeah, feel free to, 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 to interrupt. Yeah, so uh, like I, uh, lots of uh, economic, uh, economists still use data. However, the, the future is open source and, and it's R. You can see the, 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 the shift uh, to R, even though some will use Python and others, but I, I think Python, it's uh, a bit, <laughs> economists are not very okay with that. I, I think uh, a lot of them prefer to use um, R. R is also freely available, open source, and, and, and it has a, a large and constantly growing uh, community of uh, users that contribute to, to the, the, the crane, the, the crane. Thus, R is becoming more and more appealing to uh, appealing for empirical economists and econometricians alike. Uh, uh, also, learning to code is uh, comparable to learning a foreign language, and continuous practice is essential for the learning success. Yeah, and and which uh, I think uh, the the authors did a, a very good job because you could see that uh, they tried to put in a, a lot of hands hands on exercises to. To, to give the opportunity to practice a lot. The uh, reproducibility of R programs make it straightforward for others to comprehend and, and, and validate uh, results. Uh, this book is a collection of re repro reproducible reports used in class by the, the, the authors. So basically the, the, they had these collections of their notes and then and then they were like, you know, we could uh, start a, a book for this. So the, the book provide guidance on how to implement selected uh, applications from the textbook introduction to econometrics by Stock and Watson, which is like the like the the, the standard bearer when it comes to introductory econometrics. Uh, it's a classic book. So uh, basically, they were, their notes were based on this book, and now it's like they are producing R codes to reproduce some of the the case studies and and, and, and and some applications based on this textbook. Uh, uh, this uh, particular book, which we are reading, it's neither a comprehensive econometrics textbook, nor is it intended to be a general introduction to R. So it's, let's say it's somewhere in between the middle, like uh, it gives you a, a quick overview of uh, econometrics using the uh, Stock and, Stock and Watson's uh, introductory econometric textbook. And it also gives you um, R codes for doing a lot of the econometric analysis. Yeah, so it's somewhere, somewhere between both uh, uh, an introductory econometric textbook, but also giving you uh, an, uh, an overview of how to, how to apply uh, 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 this in, in, in R. The, the aims to provide students with a, a platform uh, independent e-learning uh, arrangement by seamlessly inter intervening the theoretical core knowledge and empirical um, skills in undergraduate econometrics. So basically the, 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 the whole idea of the book is to give students uh, a platform where they could uh, do a lot of practice uh, of the theoretical concepts yeah, using R. And I, I think they had some collaboration with DataCamp because the, the the interactive R, R uh, platform that that they use in the book it's 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 based on uh, data camp to replicate the results of some of the the case studies, which will be like a, a more hands on learning approach uh, to immediately be able to uh, to to use the newly acquired skills in other empirical applications. Uh, the interactive R programming, uh, interactive R programming uh, exercises. Each chapter contains interactive R programming exercises. Uh, these exercises are used as supplements to code chunks that uh, display how previously uh, discussed techniques uh, could be implemented in R. So uh, I think I, should, I yeah, and uh, that's a, uh, the the basic R studio. Uh, planes, the, the 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 first plane, which is the the the, the script plane, and the second the, the 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 second one is the environment plane, where we see the the data and 
the variables that we are working with. And the, the fourth one is the, uh, the, the, the console. And we have the, the, the other environment where we see the plots and, and all that. Yeah, so it uh, mentioned some basic, uh, basic R's, uh, basics of R, like uh, doing some basic calculations um, in R and how we can also work with uh, vectors. Yes, these are some, some very basic uh, um, R, R, R uh, functionalities. Um, and it's also mentioned that we, we should not forget to save uh, the work we, we do. And someone made comments that, you know, the, the shortcut could be the, the control S. Yeah, it uh, mentioned something about functions. Uh, in general, all functions uh, call look uh, the same. Uh, a function name always follows, is, is, is always followed by uh, round parentheses. Sometimes the parentheses uh, include arguments. Uh, here, like uh, this is an example of a function. Uh, the, 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 it uh, it uh, sort of used the, the sec function, which, which, I, which is like the, 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 the sequence uh, function, something like this. Of uh, so it uh, sort of assign uh, z to uh, the sort of this vector from one to one to five using the the, the sequence function, and then it uh, computes the mean. It also uses the mean function to compute uh, the the mean of, of of z. Yeah, it, it also give a, an overview of how to get uh, some help. Like if uh, you're not sure of, uh, uh, if, uh, if you're not sure which argument a function expects, you can, you, you may consult the, the, the function documentation. And uh, that like, like an example of the sec, uh, you, if you just type this uh, like question mark and then followed by sec, you will see the, 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 the sec argument. Yeah, and, and that's the that's the book, and I, this is this was what it was talking about, like the 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 the, the interactive uh, data cam uh, light uh, widget, where we'll just let's say if we like this example, we assign a to to five, and then um, like print a, and then we get some we uh, submit this. Yeah, we get. Uh, the, the A. So I, I think throughout the book, it, it uses, it, re it relies on this for, 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 for exercise. And this were some, the, like the, the highlighted were some um, comments that uh, other readers of the book made. Yeah, the book was uh, the session info setting was built on based on this uh, system, and uh, I think this were the, this was the main package they used to uh, build the, the 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 book. Yeah, and that was what I was um, talking about in the slides. Yeah, and it 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 stresses the point that you know we could use this. Um, our interface to do a lot of practice, and and and, and the beauty of it is, I, I think along the each uh, along each chapter they have a lot of exercises, and um, it's uh, stressing the point that, of course, all of the commands presented above also work in interactive widgets throughout the book. You may try them below, like like this. We could try a lot of commands and see um, and see how it, it it works. So it was this is powered by uh, DataCam. Yeah, and, and, and that's it from me. Uh, I think basically that's, uh, that was some of the points I, I, I got from the, the first chapter. Yeah, if someone has any comments. I did notice that 
at least on the first interactive thing, it doesn't necessarily do things that make sense. Ah. So like the very first one, um, like if you type in, if you assign A to five and then you run it, yeah. it will prompt you to call N row on A. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw that, yeah, yeah, I saw that, yeah. Yeah, so like, use your best judgment if, <laughs> if, if you're working on it and you're like, I think my code is right, but it's telling me I'm wrong you might be right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But again, I think it mentioned somewhere that it also has the, 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 the solution. So you could uh, always confirm your, your code with that. Yeah, any other, any other um, comments? So I'm, I'm not sure how we'll go about uh, with the book because I see chapter two seems to be like uh, uh, quite long. It has like uh, the first part, uh, random variables and probability distributions. And the second part is uh, sampling, random samples and distributions of uh, sample averages. So I, I was thinking whether it's uh, um, like uh, each chapter, I, I'm not sure whether we'll be able to cover each up uh, a week a chapter I'm, I'm not sure whether i don't know what you think about this usually it's a chapter a week but yeah if, like if it's a very dense chapter then it can get split up or if they're very small chapters it can split yeah because I'm, I'm i'm scrolling through chapter two but it seems to be some something seems like it's a bit dense and I was th also thinking, you know, the exercises could be quite interesting. Even if not all, but uh, let's say we could, uh, depending on who is presenting a particular chapter, you could decide to discuss some of the exercises. Because I, I, I know uh, that was this book club I started following, but I, I didn't complete the like uh, introduction to probability for data science. So what they were doing is one day, each chapter day, they had two sessions. The first session was to discuss the theory. And then the, the second session was to discuss uh, at least some of the, the interesting exercises. So I don't know what, 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 what do you guys, guys think? Yes, yeah, we have to figure out who will present next week. Yeah. I... I've, yeah, been, I've presented in a club last week and I'm doing another one today. So I would like to take a week off and not present next week. But yeah, I don't I don't mind I don't mind presenting next week. I don't mind. Yeah. Yeah, this chapter seems to be a bit dense. So uh, I'm not sure. We, if it could be done in a week. And if it's, it looks like it is foundational, so it probably would make sense to split it anyways. Yeah, yeah, I think I think that would be interesting, yeah. Yes, we, we don't want to rush through foundations and then just get lost later on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm seeing some quite uh, interesting exercises as well. Yeah, so I'll so I'll I'll, I'll show, try to present uh, uh, next week. I'll make some slides, but I, I think if it's too if it is too long, then we could split it to two two weeks. Yeah. Yeah, and any other any other thing anyone wants to discuss since this is the first the first uh, the first uh, session. I I think we could be done anytime soon. So if there is any point someone wants to bring up, you know, feel free. 
another point also, I was thinking if someone sees uh, some like interesting research, econometric, empirical research questions wants to explore, you, you know, you could just put it in the chat, in the, in the, 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 the Slack. And, you know, if some other guys are interested, it could, uh, it could be an interesting project to walk along with the book as well. Sounds good. Yeah. Because I, I think econometrics is, well, uh, it's uh, uh, more, something more practical. So the more you have some projects, especially interesting projects to work on, I think the, the more you learn something like that. Yeah, I, I think if we don't have any other comments, I, I think uh, that's that's it for me. From me, sorry, that's it. Then hopefully see you guys next week. And yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Looks, yeah. All right, sounds good. I will see everyone next week. Yeah, see you guys next week, yeah. Bye. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. See you next week.